When using type ORM, there is a way to reduce code duplication by using embedded entities. So the columns that are part of the embedded entity are merged into the class that is embedding it. Let's say that we want to audit all database inserts and updates operations performed by our application. In order to do that, I'm going to create an audit class that is going to include a set of columns, such as the user who performed the operation and the date when that operation was executed. I'm going to embed that audit class into this book entity so that all the columns of the audit class are merged into the book entity. And we can reuse this audit class that we are going to create by embedding this class into all the entities we want to audit. So now let's create the audit class. So I'm going to create a new file and the name of this file will be audit.ts. Port class audit. And we are going to set four properties. We're going to have created by. This will be the name of the user who created the entity. So this will be a string. Updated by. This will be the username who updated the entity. I mean, the last update and then the date when the entity was created and the date of the last update. So this is created, created on, and the type will be date, and updated on, this will be also a date. And I need to add the column decorator to all these properties. This column, and I'm going to paste the same for the rest of the properties. Okay, and now let's go to the book and let's add a new property. This will be audit, and the type will be the class that we just created, and this will be a column. Here we need to set the type of the column that will be audit. This is the name of the class that we created. Okay, now let's go to the index file. Okay, and here I'm going to create a new audit object to assign the audit fields to the book. So const audit equals new audit. This is a new instance of the audit class. And this is audit dot created by Let's say user one audit dot updated by let's say user two and we just set the same date for the created on and the updated on properties. This is on new date current date for both. This is audit dot updated on and this is new date. And now let's assign the audit object to the book. This is book one dot audit equals to audit. Okay now let's run this but first let's take a look at the database structure. So I'm going to open the database explorer. Here we have our database with no tables. So now I'm going to run the index file where I'm going to create the audit, the book, assigning the audit to that book. And then using the book repository, I'm going to insert the book associated to the audit. Okay, this is npm run start. And in just a second, we're going to check the new table and the fields. Okay, I'm going to refresh the database. And here we have the book table with the ID, the author of the book, the title, the price, and the four fields that we embedded using the audit class. And if we take a look at the data, here we have the name of the author, the title, the price, the username, who created this new book, the user who updated the book, 
and the current date for the created on column and the same date for the updated on column. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.